Let's have a sesh on digital communication. So digital communication is exchanging information with stakeholders, being people who are interested in your business via technology, such as websites, emails, or apps, starting with websites. So websites, the way that you could use digital communication to communicate with your stakeholders is that you could put on your website your product range, all the products that you sell. And therefore you are communicating that information to your customers who are a stakeholder. You could use websites to communicate with stakeholders your financial reports. The stakeholders that are going to care about your financial reports are your shareholders. That could be your existing shareholders and it could also be potential shareholders who are looking to buy a share of your business. So the next form of digital communication is email. So email, why you could use it to communicate with your stakeholders is it could be that your operations department uses it to confirm the size of the orders or the cost of the orders with suppliers, being for those raw materials or components. And they may use email as the most efficient form of digital communication to communicate with stakeholders. It could be that email is used for employees to discuss information, exchange information with other employees. It could be employees in a different department to them, a different office to them. It could be even in a different country to them if they're a multinational company. The next is apps. So the next form of digital communication is apps. You could either create an app or use an app. If you create an app, well, it's much similar to the website situation in that you're using it to communicate information to your customers. But it doesn't have to be just the product range. It could be the prices or promotion, for example. You might use apps, you might use apps such as WhatsApp. It could be, and it is used frequently with employees. You create a WhatsApp group so employees could exchange information within that group, much like in the case of email. But please remember, with some of these forms of digital communication, they can be costly, especially websites. If you're building a website, maintaining a website, that can be costly to the business. And also, if you create an app in the similar way that it could be costly to the business. But some of them are less costly, for example, email, and also using WhatsApp, it's clearly gonna be less costly. So you might want to use that to distinguish what type of digital communication you're going to use if you're answering and evaluating a longer question. I hope that helps, and I'll see you at the next video.